Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. I just recently moved into my own place and I've been slowly buying nice home stuff, which is something that I've just always daydreamed about when I finally get my own place. So today I just got a new delivery. It's my Take A Lot Mini Waffle Maker. If you've been watching my channel from the beginning, I absolutely love baking and this is much of baking as i possibly can so i decided to unbox it here together so we can see what it looks like and if it works i'm going to be civilized for once and open it with a scissor i've been so excited about this i've been waiting for it like all day and i ordered it yesterday and i got it today it didn't take me and luckily my delivery was also free because it was the first time i was using it well it's not the first time i'm using um take a lot but it's the first time i am using this this new email oh my goodness it's a heart shaped waffle maker i didn't know that i didn't know that i ordered a heart shaped one i don't remember ordering a heart shaped one actually but it's not like i'm going to complain okay we have a problem already i don't think i can use this adapter actually i don't think so but hey it's so tiny it is so 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 tiny look at this it's actually heart shaped. I didn't order a heart shaped waffle maker. I actually didn't order a heart shaped waffle maker. So a lot of people were complaining about the adapter being American style. I'm not sure if it'll work. I'm not sure if it's even American style. That's the thing. But I'm going to try to use it. It works. It actually works. It's hot. The, this thing is supposed to turn on and it had turned on but I think because there's nothing I'm not using it it turned itself on but it's really really hot I have not used it yet obviously to make waffles because I don't have enough ingredients I'm gonna get ingredients maybe in a few days I had to use this plug and it took literally all my strength to shove this in. This is not the correct plug. So that is definitely a downside. And another downside obviously is because I got the wrong order. I did not order a heart shaped one. I didn't want a heart shaped one, but I'm not gonna return it. It's okay, it's okay. I'll just keep this one. I don't want the trouble of having to return an order. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm happy I have a waffle maker now. I'm happy that it's working. I don't like this plug. I'm not gonna lie. When I ordered this thing, I ordered from this specific provider because they say they come with an adapter for a South African plug, but they not only brought me the wrong waffle maker, but they brought me it, the, the plug is not plugging. The plug is just not plugging. So. I don't know, it's, it's, it's a struggle to shove this thing in this plug. I don't want to struggle. But then again, I shouldn't have gone and bought a waffle maker from Take A Lot because it was only 217 rand. <laughs> yeah, sometimes being cheap will definitely put you in some crazy situations. But I'm happy I have it. At least it works. At least for the next few months while I figure out my life and try to get settled in my place for the first time having my own place. I don't think I ever spoke much about that in this channel. Most of the time it's just my sewing vlogs. And if you're here because you're interested about the waffle maker unboxing, I actually am a fashion designer. I make a lot of fashion design content here on this channel. We sew a lot hence the machine in the background i also made this that i'm wearing and the skirt and i prefer to make my own clothes so if you are interested in content like that or you want to see or curious about these things that i saw just subscribe and also go watch my other videos thank you so much guys i'll make another video of me cooking waffles with this mini waffle maker to see if it actually really works bye